could be a key break in the case of a triple murder in Lakeland, but the Polk County Sheriff's Office is still pleading with the public to help solve this case. News Channel 8's Josh Thomas joins us now live in Polk County with the very latest. Josh? Good evening, Jen. Well, while those suspects in that Lakeland triple murder are still at large tonight, the Sheriff's Office is telling us that a piece of surveillance video captured by a nearby business may be the key to tracking down those suspects. The murders of three people in a Lakeland home earlier this week shocked the area and left people looking for answers. It's also left investigators looking for the suspects who committed the violent crime. Now, Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd is asking for the public's help in identifying this white van that the suspects may have fled the area in. We have a photograph, a video clip of that van leaving the area of Magnolia Street. And we believe at this point in time that is our suspect vehicle. While the van has distinctive markings, investigators cannot make out the wording on it, which is making it more difficult to solve this crime. The language is somewhat blurred, but you can see that there's clearly clear indications and marks. Someone can look and say, oh, I recognize that as a member of XYZ business. The lone survivor of the shootings is helping investigators. He told them three men had Caribbean accents and they may have been from Miami. While the sheriff believes the murders may have been drug related, he told the media that's no reason for the victims to have lost their lives. Those two young ladies and that young man didn't deserve to die. Whether or not they were engaged in illegal conduct, they should not have perished. The sheriff also admitted they know more information than they're sharing right now. So if the suspects or their family or friends are watching it and going, whew, seems like they don't have anything, that would be a bad assumption. Now, the sheriff's office is determined to solve this case, and once again, it is pleading with the public to provide any information that can help solve this case. We should also let you know that the lone survivor of that shooting is being treated at a local hospital for his injuries, and he's also under the watchful eye of the sheriff's office. All right, Josh Thomas live for us tonight in Polk County. Thank you, Josh.